Let's start by getting acquainted with the Squeeze user interface. The first time you launch Squeeze, you'll see that it's organized around a single large window containing several smaller ones. Import File lets you select one or more files from your computer to work on. The Import File button opens a dialog box to locate files on your computer. Acceptable formats include anything that QuickTime or DirectShow can play, such as Move and AVI files. Below the batch window is the Squeeze It button, which starts encoding the job you've set up in the batch window. For filters, Squeeze ships with just a few presets to get you started, like Generic Web and VHS to Web. You can edit a filter by clicking the Edit button here, or simply by double-clicking on the filter, which brings up this Filter Settings dialog box. Below Filters, the Format and Compression Settings is the real heart of Squeeze. It's where the presets live for the media you'll output. MPEG-4 for QuickTime-compatible H.264 video, iPod, and mobile devices. Flash Movie, or SWIF, for making standalone Flash movies. Flash Video, or FLV, for making Flash video files to import into Flash projects. QuickTime, Windows Media, Real Media, MPEG-1 and MPEG-2, generally used for DVD, CD-ROM, and kiosks, and MP3 audio.